Alfred Joseph Hitchcock was born in Leytonstone, Essex, England. He was the son of Emma Jane Whalen, 1863-1942, and East End greengrocer William Hitchcock, 1862-1914. His parents were both of half-English and half-Irish ancestry. He had two older siblings, William Hitchcock, born 1890, and Eileen Hitchcock, born 1892. Raised as a strict Catholic and attending St. Ignatius College, a school run by Jesuits, Hitch had very much of a regular upbringing. His first job outside of the family business was in 1915 as an estimator for the Henley Telegraph and Cable Company. His interest in movies began at around this time, frequently visiting the cinema and reading U.S. trade journals. It was around 1920 when Hitchcock joined the film industry. He started off drawing the sets, he was a very skilled artist. It was there that he met Alma Reville, though they never really spoke to each other. It was only after the director for Always Tell Your Wife, 1923, fell ill and Hitchcock was named director to complete the film that he and Reville began to collaborate. Hitchcock had his first real crack at directing a film, start to finish, in 1923 when he was hired to direct the film No. 13, 1922. Though the production wasn't completed due to the studio's closure, he later remade it as a sound film. Hitchcock didn't give up then. He directed The Pleasure Garden, 1925, a British-German production, which was very popular. Hitchcock made his first trademark film in 1927, The Lodger, 1927. In the same year, on the 2nd of December, Hitchcock married Alma Reville. They had one child. Underscore Patricia Hitchcock underscore who was born on July 7, 1928. His success followed when he made a number of films in Britain such as The Lady Vanishes 1938, and Jamaica Inn 1939, some of which also gained him fame in the USA in 1940. The Hitchcock family moved to Hollywood, where the producer underscore David O. Selznick underscore had hired him to direct an adaptation of Daphne du Maurier's Rebecca 1940. After Saboteur 1942, as his fame as a director grew, film companies began to refer to his films as Alfred Hitchcock's, for example Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho 1960, Alfred Hitchcock's Family Plot 1976, Alfred Hitchcock's Frenzy 1972, Hitchcock was a master of pure cinema who almost never failed to reconcile aesthetics with the demands of the box office. During the making of Frenzy 1972, Hitchcock's wife Alma suffered a paralyzing stroke which made her unable to walk very well. On March 7, 1979, Hitchcock was awarded the AFI Life Achievement Award, where he said, I beg permission to mention by name